Good evening. My name is Alexander Hagen. Today is February 22nd, 2012. I am the CEO of a small, medium-sized tech company and a former financial analyst and journalist. Tonight, I am going to be speaking about the present state of Libya. And the title, of course, is <clears throat> American Made Libya, Gangland with Torture Camps. Um, so if anybody thought that what we, uh, this business about Syria uh, and Iran uh, looked at a map of the Middle East, they're the only two countries the U.S. doesn't have um, arm uh, an armament-driven country uh, such as Jordan or Saudi Arabia that are armed to the teeth with American arms, which means that they're sort of in our supply chain because they can't easily replace their equipment uh, without us. They're all paid off by us. Um, and the entire, all the Gulf states are essentially U.S. client states effectively, Saudi Arabia. Uh, we have we've put all of our military focus in the Middle East. Um, if you look at the rest of the world, America is just not involved in any way, shape, or form the way it is in the Middle East. We've, we've occupied the entire Middle East, except for Iran and Syria. Those are the last two left to fall. And so, uh, you know, a world of 900,000 times the might of these two countries uh, in the West militarily beat their chest and act like these, uh, these smaller players are a problem. In reality, it's regional domination. Why don't they ever discuss the fact these are the last two states left in the region that haven't fallen to Western domination? So at any rate, in the case of Libya, uh, we killed their entire armed forces, and uh, based on uh, rumors that were spread by unscrupulous people that turned out to be false, uh, to fast forward, uh, the reports in Libya now is it's uh, broken and driven into armed uh, camps running each township, extorting from each other. It's a gangland. And there's, uh, in the U.S. terms, we would have killed if this was America instead of uh, Libya, and a country had done this to America, uh, we would have been bombed. Uh, for example, New York City would have been bombed, uh, uh, what would it be, 10,000 times, um, and all of its armed forces and policemen would have been killed, and there would have been one aerial assault on every two to three people guarding New York. Uh, in other words, there'd be one entire plane attack for two to three soldiers. So we completely wiped out their armed forces. What was left of it has been imprisoned and is now being tortured uh, in hundreds of prison camps and Doctors Without Borders has left. So this is a high, uh, uh, an amazing war crime. So if you have any illusion that what we did in Libya was noble, um, some more statistics for you that this occurred in America. Well, Libya lost about uh, uh, 25,000 armed force uh, people alone who were not guilty of any crime. Libya had been at peace uh, in terms of their army for 21 years, so certainly these people did nothing wrong to be in the armed forces of their country. And um, we killed them all off, and that would be the equivalent in American terms of uh, you know, half a million, Amer more than that, uh, two million Americans killed. Um, and similar, our own armed forces of all kinds completely wiped out. And in terms of the amount of torture going on, it would be equivalent to about 500,000 people getting tortured here. Um, so I, it's just uh, heartbreaking. Uh, and what the next step is, is difficult to say. Thank you. My name is Alexander Hagen. Good night and good luck.